Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Dear all, this is Zakrullah with a new lecture classification of fixatives. So, today we will discuss about the classification of different type of fixative which is used in the histopathology laboratory for fixation of different tissues. Cla uh, fixatives are classified on the basis of uh, the nature of fixation on the basis of the chemical properties of the fixatives and it is also classified on the basis of the components which are present in the fixative and also fixatives can be classified on the mode of action on the protein so this is the classification of fixative on the basis of nature here we can see the uh, different types of classification on the basis of the nature of fixation, the chemical properties, the components present and the action on protein. This picture will uh, show you the summary of all the classification of fixative. So coming to the nature of fixation, that how a fixation can be classified on the basis of the nature of fixation. fixation the first one is the immersion fixation that during the immersion fixation the whole specimen it is immersed this is the most commonest way of fixation of biopsy tissues in the histopathology laboratory usually 10 percent buffered a uh, neutral buffered formalin are for cytology specimen we use 95 percent ethyl alcohol and the tissue specimen or the cytology smear that is uh, immersed in a fluid containing these fixatives. The second type of uh, fixation process that is the coating fixation and this coating fixation is usually uh, used in the cytology laboratory for cytological samples. and the smear is coated with the help of a spray which contains fixative and it is used uh, because we can easily transport these fixatives from one lab to another lab. Fixation of the cells is performed very easily and to impart a protective covering over the smear that the dust particles they do not come in contact with the smear so the smear are uh, protected from the dust particles and there is no need to carry liquid fixative in a bottle or jar but simply a spray which is usually safe and easily uh, transportable so this is a simple way for fixation of cytological samples this uh, fixative usually contain the alcohol which is mixed with the wax because the alco alcohol fixes the smear and wax it makes a outer protecting covering on the smear to protect it from the dust or the insect or anything which uh, disturbs or which may destroy our smear. So before processing and before examination, uh, before staining the smear, the wax which is present on the smear, this should be removed because this wax also hinders with the staining process. So the wax is removed before the staining process. A vapor fixation, it is a type of fixation in which the vapor of chemical is used to fix either a, a, a smear or a tissue section or an organ and it is commonly uh, the commonly used chemical substances are formaldehyde for vapor fixation or smear tetroxide glutaraldehyde and ethyl alcohol the vapor which is used for fixation it converts the soluble material into insoluble material and these material are retained when the smear meets liquid solution or any kind of dyes or staining. Another type of fixation is the perfusion fixation. Perfusion fixation is usually uh, done in case of research processes and 
in this type of fixation the fixative the chemical substance it is injected and introduced into the arterial system of the animal and it is circulated in the whole body uh, so the whole organism in fixed uh, is fixed with the help of this perfusion fixation or if uh, it is not possible so we can also fix uh, the brain or spinal cord of a organism with the help of this perfusion fixation freeze drying fixation this is a type of fixation in which the tissue is uh, first cut into thin slices thin sections and then rapidly frozen at 160 degree centigrade in a machine called cryostrate the ice within the tissue is removed with the help of vacuum chamber at uh, a slightly higher temperature minus uh, 30 degree centigrade this type of fixation is uh, used to study the soluble material and very small molecules within the cells and it is uh, good and excellent for the uh, enzymatic study of a tissue it does not change uh any proteins of the organ of the tissue or the sample so it is also uh, this is also a good property of uh, this uh, freeze drying fixation and it does not causes the shrinkage of the tissue and maintain the original condition and the original size of the tissue it also helps in the preservation of glycogen so it is also uh, helpful in the storage diseases microwave fixation microwave is an equipment which creates an electromagnetic field and in this field the molecules rapidly vibrates and this vibration generates the the heat by kinetic motion microwave fixation it is uh, applied and uses in case of protein surgical pathology specimens or it is most commonly used for the electron microscopy or in case of uh, emergency processing of special biopsy for example the kidney biopsy or heart or uh, the biopsy of the vital organs the advantages of uh, microwave fixation that it uh, produces a uniform heat so the whole specimen is uh, very well fixed with the help of that heat and no volume changes occur of the tissue during the process of uh, microwave fixation it is good for electron microscopy after osmium tetroxide fixation it facilitates the fixation uh, and other laboratory steps and also it is helpful in the preservation of the tissue antigen so we can further process the specimen for detection of the tissue antigens or any immunohistochemical studies the disadvantages of a microwave fixation that uh, the tissue when it is fixed in formalin that it can produce a toxic gas for that purpose a hood is required for microwave fixation and also the heat may cause injury so these are the disadvantages of microwave fixation now coming to the different types of uh, chemical fixatives which are used in the cytopathological and histopathological laboratory the chemical basis of the fixatives number first is uh, tissue fixatives for tissue we use these uh, uh, buffered formal saline or buffered group glutaraldehyde or zenkel formal saline solutions for cytological smear fixation and cytological studies we use ethanol methanol or ether and for the histochemical fixatives we use a formal saline cold acetone or absolute alcohol so routine formalin which is most commonly used uh, it is uh, available in the market as a 40% uh, 
weight by weight solution of formaldehyde gas in water so we use in the lab the working solution is used as a 10% or 15% volume by volume percentage in a normal saline or calcium chloride solution that 10% or 15% the formaldehyde gas in water it is mixed with the normal saline and 10% routine formalin is uh, yielded it does not precipitate the protein and combines with the amino group of the tissues so this uh, combination they produce they form an insoluble gel so the tissue architecture the tissue structure that is preserved and routine formalin which is uh, used they preserve all kind of uh, elements including the fats the phospholipids and insoluble uh, substances which are uh, not soluble in the water for example the fat soluble solvents so it preserves all kind of substances and it is the most cheapest and the most popular fixative because uh, as we learned in the previous slide the properties of ideal fixative so it uh, have almost all the properties of an ideal fixative buffered formal saline or buffered formalin the routinely used 10% formalin has a slightly acidic ph so this uh, results in the formation of crystals called hematin crystals these crystals they hinders and interfere with the stain, uh, staining process of the tissue that's why it may be uh, slightly uh, dangerous so it is recommended that any fixative used have a neutral ph it will be good for the fixation of the tissue that's why we use phosphate buffer in the routine formalin these are the contents of 10% buffer formal saline solution the pure formalin sodium dihydrogen phosphate disodium hydrogen phosphate normal saline up to 10 ml what are the advantages of buffered formal saline tissues can be left in the fixative for long period for example one year or round about an year and buffered formal saline do not damage the tissue or causes any extra hardening of the tissue sectioning and small slices of the tissue can be easily done uh, after processing with the buffered formal saline and one of the important property is that buffered formal saline do not produce hematin crystal which uh, disturbs the staining process and the last one is that we can perform multiple staining procedures on a tissue that is fixed with the buffered formalin the next fixative is the ethyl alcohol ethyl alcohol is used either pure or uh, at 95 or 90% uh, solution it precipitates albumin and globulin but it uh, do not act on the nuclear proteins so it also causes shrinkage and hardening of the tissue and it uh, destroys the mitochondria of the cell it is a reducing agent so that's why we cannot uh, use it combined with the chromic acid uh, chromates or osmium tetroxides because that will uh, disturb the processing uh, and also the staining procedure of the tissue ethyl alcohol helps in the preservation of glycogen and we can also use it for histochemistry in case of glycogen uric acid or iron mercury chloride it is another type of fixative which is used in the histopathology laboratory and it is used as a 
70% saturated or half saturated aqua solution it have the advantages that it penetrates very fastly into the tissues and precipitate protein it uh, fixes the chromatin the uh, nuclear material as well as it also uh, have a good quality of staining capability it cannot be used alone and it is very valuable and good for fixation of the nuclear material picric acid and chromic acid Picric acid it is used as a 1% saturated aqueous solution and uh, it uh, penetrates uh, very poorly into the tissues and causes shrinkage but does not uh, harden the tissue. It is good in the preservation of uh, glycogen and almost all elements and does not affect the staining procedure. But one limitation of the picric acid is that it cannot be used alone but it is used by mixing with the other chemical fixatives. Chromic acid it is either used as a pure chemical or as a mixture of dichrome or acetic acid for example in case of Zenker solution it is a strong oxidizing agent. So, it cannot be used with the formalin or alcohol and it is used for the preservation of um, most elements it have the ability to weaken the nuclear staining because chromic acid it dissolves the nucleoprotein so we cannot perform nuclear uh, staining with the by fixation with the uh, chromic acid Osmium tetroxide used as a 2% aqua solution it is one of the expensive fixative and one of the most unstable fixatives as it is fastly converted into vapors which is very irritating process it is a very important oxidizing agent and it penetrates very good into the tissue slices the advantages of osmium tetroxide that it preserves fades very good and gives a black precipitate of osmium dioxide with the unsaturated fats and it is useful for the preservation of the fine cell details for example Golgi apparatus or any other cell organelles so that's why osmium tetroxide it is uh, mostly used for the electron microscopy of the cells or tissues b5 fixative it is one of the important fixative which is used uh, for the fixation of uh, lymph nodes and uh, it have uh, all the component solution a mercury chloride uh, and hydrosodium acetate hot distilled water and it, these are stored at 4 degrees centigrade the solution will be contain 10 percent buffer formal saline so before working 1 ml of uh, 10 percent buffer formal saline it is mixed with the 9 ml of a uh, solution a before usage these are then fixed within thin blocks for two to four hours then rinsed and transferred to 70 percent ethyl alcohol for storage before dehydration and impregnation or processing of the tissue mercury crystals these must be removed before staining with the help of an iodine solution followed by sodium thiosulfate solution it is used for the fixation of bone marrow trifying biopsies or tissues having uh, are suspected of the negri bodies the stock solution contain potassium dichromate mercury chloride and distilled water and it almost takes 24 hours for the preparation of stock solution the working solution is made just before the fixation and we add 5 ml of glacial acetic acid to 95 ml of stock solution so working solution is prepared these are the different 
targets of protein and the choice of fixatives that protein is bestly uh, fixed with the buffered pharmacy line and osmium tetroxide these are avoided in enzymes lipids all are the target components and the choice of fixatives and what are the do's and don'ts in different types of fixatives so that was all for the today's lectures hope you have learned much more about the different types of chemical fixatives and they are working thanks for watching the video hope you have like it so uh, discuss it with your friends your colleagues and share with all thank you allah hafiz